by God today. In this Matthew account uh, this morning in chapter 14, my God today, my God today, my God today. Matthew is describing the account of Jesus and the disciples uh, after they fed the 5,000 plus with the two fish and five loaves of bread. Jesus told the disciples to go ahead of him. He, in other words, you know, when you tell somebody to go ahead of you, you you let them know I'm coming, but but I want you to go ahead and, and get started. And uh, for those of you that used to run barefoot in the middle of the street, you know, because that's what we did. You used to have races, and you know there were some kids because I was I was y'all saw on watch night. I was the fastest one around. Yeah, so uh, I have to give some of them other cats a head start. You know, you let them go ahead of you. Y'all know what a head start is, right? Here. So Jesus said, I'm gonna give you a head start. Y'all go ahead of me, and I'm coming. Go ahead to the other side of. The sea. This is also uh, this story is on the heels of Jesus finding out that John the Baptist had been beheaded uh, while he was in prison. Uh, a young lady wanted John the Baptist's head for her birthday, and so the king went to John the Baptist as he was confessing Christ, cut off his head, put it on a silver platter, and gave it to her for her birthday. So with everything going on, it sounds like and looks like Jesus needed to to just. Uh, to get away and spend some time in prayer, uh, I, I like to say we young people, I'm young, don't, don't get it twisted, we, we young people would say that Jesus needed to get away and get his life. You know, sometimes you just need to get your life and, and he needed to be away from the crowds and from the demons and, and let me just help us parenthetically speaking before I go much further. Sometimes uh, you just need to get away from everybody. Right. And everything, yeah. isn't that right? Sometimes you, you just got too much yin yang going on. You got too many people in your ear. You got too many folks telling you what you ought to do. Sometimes uh, uh, I heard somebody say during slave times they wrote a song that says you ought to just steal away. So there's nobody but you and Jesus. Sometimes you got to just get by yourself. Life requires sometimes that. We just shut everybody and everything off. Now, I, that don't mean I don't love you. I'm coming back. I'm going to talk to you. But I just need a minute. I yeah. just, and, 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 and if you know anything about me, you would want me to have a minute. Because yeah. if I don't get a minute, somebody, I can say long enough. I'm just being real. Somebody going to be in trouble. You, you want me to have a minute. So I, I, need, I need a minute to get everybody and everything out of my life. I need to spend some time in prayer. If Jesus had to sneak away to pray, then what about you and I, yeah. I, I can't help it. If you have not taken the time to help uh, uh, myself, if, 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 if you've got to, to step away from everybody and everything, even Jesus said, yeah. I need to get away. So often we think that uh, if we don't do it, it won't get done. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all, know something about that, especially men, right? We think if we can't fix it, it can't be fixed. Well, I came to tell you, mess around and die. Right. <laughs> It's gonna get done. Yeah, and and, and and quiet is kept. You're not the first one to do it, boo. You read the book, right? And because you read the book, that means somebody else did it so they could write the book. So when you came along, you could read the book to figure out how to get it done. You weren't the first one to do it. All right, let me get it, let me get us together right now before I go too much further. Long before you and I ever came along, somebody else was doing it. Whatever it is. Somebody was doing it before you showed up on the scene. But but watch this. My first thank you, Jesus, in this passage came from verse 22. Jesus made his disciples go before him to the other side. Yeah. That was the first shot. Y'all missed it, so, so, so I'm going to give it to you again. Uh, 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 he made the disciples go before him to the other side. Watch this. God will never send you where the grace of God can't keep you. Yeah. So if he said, go before me to the other side. He said, I'm coming. I'm coming, but but y'all go ahead. But 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 they, 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 they got scared somewhere along the way. Jesus sent uh, them ahead. But look, because he is a, an omniscient God, an all-knowing God, he knew. Yeah. This, this is your next one. He knew that the storm would raise up, yeah. but, but he yeah. said, I'll meet you in, yeah. on the other side. In other words, the storm didn't catch God by right. surprise. Right. And right. he said, I'll meet you on the other side. So, so let me help you before I go any further, because somebody said, Pastor, I'm in a storm right now. Uh, let me bless you. It did not catch God by surprise. It might have caught you by surprise, but the storm did not catch God by surprise. Uh, we can take solace, uh, comfort in knowing that wherever we are, whatever it is that we're going through, Jesus is already there. Right. So, so what, 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 whatever happens.
happened this weekend, Jesus was already there. When whatever you went through last night, Jesus was already there. Whatever uh, betides you, Jesus is already there. I, I, I know this much. It doesn't always feel like Jesus is by my side. Huh. Now that's not for everybody. That's just for the real folks. Now, huh. You deep saints, you got to go somewhere else to get deeper. I don't get no deeper than that. But but I, it don't, I don't always feel like, thank you, Jesus. Huh. Right. Right. Isn't that right? I, every Monday morning, I don't feel like lifting up holy hands. But when I think yeah. about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul, Christ, I don't always feel like it. But, but I've come to realize that in a few short years, years on, on this earth, there's really only two times to praise the Lord. That's when you feel like it and when you don't. Oh, y'all got the same God. Yeah, yeah. When you don't feel like it, he's still a worthy God. Even when you don't feel like lifting up holy hands, he is still a worthy God. So you ought to take just those two times. I won't ask you to praise him no other times. Just those two. When you feel like it and when you don't. When you do that, just, just those And you don't have to be in between. Just, just when you feel like it and when you don't. That's only two times, right? Whenever you feel like it, you ought to say thank you, Jesus. And, and then when you get beside yourself and don't know which way to go and you don't feel like it, you still ought to say thank you, Jesus. Even though the way seems hard that, that we have to go. Like, like the disciples, we have to press we have to press. We have to press our way. In other words, um, I, I'll be there. It's what Jesus said. Y'all just go ahead. See, the plan is already, this, this is going to bless you again. The plan is already laid out before you. Yeah. I, I know you think you, you got to navigate some stuff and, and you got to go around some stuff and, and you, you, you got to get rid of some people. But, but we have to step out on faith and and, and even though the ways uh, look high, even though uh, the way seems hard, the disciples, uh, like them, we have to press our way. We have to uh, continue. Everybody is not on your side. Right. All right, all right. I know that messes you up because you thought you had some real ride or dies. Uh, uh, but you got to keep pressing. Everybody doesn't want you to succeed, but, but we have to keep pressing. Everybody uh, doesn't look like. Uh, uh, they're going to be with you when you come out. It, it doesn't look like things are always going to work out, but we have to, we have to keep pressing. Watch, watch yeah. this. I hear you say, Pastor, but, but school is so hard. Keep pressing. Help is on the way. Yeah. My employer, don't, they don't even have like me. Well, uh, keep pressing because uh, say it to yourself, help, help is, is on the way. way. My spouse and I, we, we fight all the time, but but keep pressing because uh, yeah, y'all got it. Help, help is on the way. But yes, sir, yes, sir. but these church folk, y'all y'all know any church folk? Ain't none here. But there's some in the other churches. They got some church folk. I'm not talking about Christians or believers. There's a difference. Yeah. Uh, catch me after church. I tell you, but there's some church. These church folks are getting on my nerves. But but I gotta keep. Keep yeah. pressing. The disciples, uh, watch this, they didn't give up. They, they knew they had to keep pressing. Now, now, now it's easy to say on Sunday morning when it don't seem like any of us have any storms because we, we got dressed up this morning and put on uh, some little blue suits that we had and some blue socks and we rolled out to church and, and everything is looking good. But, but don't you know that sometimes we dressed up on the outside, but, but some of us are hurting, yeah. some of us are dying, some of us are crying on the inside. So I all not have to come to church and get beat. Up. I'm already messed up on the inside. You just can't see it through my teeth. You just can't see it through my, my, my smile. But, but, but watch this. It, we have to uh, keep pressing. Now, it's easy to say on a Sunday morning. That, that's easy for me to stand here and say this this morning. But, but how many of you know, uh, really shown up beyond a shadow of a doubt, that in the middle of turmoil, uh, you got to keep pressing. Yeah. It's hard to, to, to believe that, that help is really on the way. Pastor, you don't understand how, how hard my life is. It, it's hard to believe that things will turn around for me. I, I know y'all sing that late in the midnight hour, things are going to turn around. But I'm in the midnight now, Pastor. Yeah. And it just don't yeah. seem like things are going to get any better. I'm, I'm in the fourth watch of the night. And it, and it just doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to make my way out. It's hard to believe. I know the Bible says that, that all things are working out for my good. But, but uh, it don't always feel like that. But believe me when I say that help is closer than you think. Yeah. Watch this. See, the, the Romans divided... Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say this and we're going to be done in a minute. The Romans divided the night into four parts. Hmm. Each part being four hours. Hmm. 
uh, each watch being uh, four hours of the night. So, so we can imagine, so, 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 so let's walk through this. We can imagine that during the first watch, the disciples were rowing and struggling, but still uh, believing all the while that they could make it. This, this, it's the first watch of the night. They, they were pressed against the wind and, and the waves, but all the while pressing, believing that, that just like Jesus had told them, they could certainly make it uh, to the other side. Some of us are uh, right now, you you in the first watch of your life. You, you're pressing, uh, you're going against every attack of the enemy, and you're pressing against every abuse of a loved one, and you're pressing against the struggles of your own life and heartache and pain. And, and this month, uh, you got more, more month, month than you got money. And, and, and he broke your heart again uh, last month like he did this month. And, and the family won't cooperate. And, and mama's in the hospital again. And, and this is just the first watch. Yeah. Uh, we can imagine then that, that watch this. In the second watch of the night, in the next four hours, the disciples are saying... Uh, uh, I was I was a born fisherman. I I've been on on, on on the sea for a long time. I've been on the seas uh, pretty much all my life. Surely mm -hmm. I can handle a few raindrops. Uh, uh, many of them had to say I am experienced uh, seaman, and and so surely I can handle a few storm clouds. And and some of us are saying, you know, I'm I'm past thirty now. Surely I ought to be able to deal with a little bit of turmoil. I ought to be able to deal with with some ugly people in my life, but. But imagine that they kept rolling and, and they kept pressing and, 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 and it just didn't seem like they were getting anywhere. Well, we see in the second watch mm -hmm. of your own life, it seems like all hell, anybody other than me, it seems like all hell, yeah, I, I got you, I got you. It seems like all hell is breaking loose. Everybody in the family is, is sick and, and everybody is ill and, and then the job is threatening you uh, right now. So your so-called friends are, uh, can't be found and, and your car broke down. This, this is somebody's testimony and your, your child ran away again and, and the money that you got still ain't enough and, 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 and people uh, that you didn't even send for keep coming for you. And, and But it's just the second watch of the night. You ought to be able to deal with a little bit of something. I, I heard somebody say, it, 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 it's hard out here for him. <laughs> Y'all saw the same movie, don't pretend. Yeah, it's hard out here for for. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all know. So, 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 so it's hard out here. But at some point, you got to put on your big girl, your big boy pants and say, it's just the second watch yeah. of the night. Uh -huh. But watch this. I want to encourage you uh, to keep pressing because help is really on the way. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus is closer to helping you than you think. Jesus is always standing by. He's always willing to help. But in the meantime, Pastor. Before he shows up, uh, what is it that I'm supposed to do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, the Bible says that we've got to trust in all of our ways, yeah. and he will uh, acknowledge him in all of our ways and, and put our trust in him, and he will uh, direct our path. We've got to know that God is an able God. Yeah. Uh, we have to believe that God can do it. Uh, the first watch in your life didn't, didn't come to destroy you. The, the second watch in your life did not come to beat you down, but oftentimes God will allow us to go through in order to get to. Yeah. 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 I know, jot that down. Somebody can tweet that uh, uh, or wherever you're going to send it, right? Uh, uh, Facebook, that. Uh, sometimes we got to go through in order to get to. He will allow us to go through in order to get to what he has for us. Watch this. Many people will have you believe that there is a blessing on the other side of through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's some preachers that will tell you that there is a blessing on the other side of through. Well, I just came to, to disrupt your theology just a little bit. That's not the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds good. It looks good on a t-shirt. might even be good for a hat. Uh, but that's really not the Bible. Understand this. There uh, is a blessing after the storm. That, that's what they would have you uh, to believe, that there is a blessing after the storm clouds roll away. But, but I came to tell you today that there is a blessing while you're going yeah. through. Uh, there's a blessing in the storm. Okay, don't believe it. Watch this. The fact that you're still breathing yeah. and all the hell that you've been through says that there's a blessing in the middle of the storm. Yeah. That didn't get you, so let me back up and get some of the slow folks. The fact that you are still here. Okay, you missed it again. The fact that you are still here. I got some other ones. The fact that you are standing here today. You almost got it. The fact that you are standing here today is a testimony that there is a blessing in the storm. You 
There's a blessing while you are, are pressing your way uh, in this life. There's a blessing while you are in the first watch and the second watch of your life. Uh, in the middle of the storm, we learn how, watch this, I don't know about you, but in the middle of my storms, I learn how to trust God more. Yeah. Uh, uh, when, when, when you ain't got nothing else, then you learn to call on Jesus. Uh, uh, late in the midnight hour, when you can't get nobody else on the telephone, you'll learn that God is really all you have. Somebody said it like this. Uh, when you are down to nothing, you'll realize that God is up to something. Yeah. When you don't have anything else, then you recognize that really all that you have is God. Yes. Watch it. Uh, we, we didn't have a storm. Uh, we wouldn't learn how to trust him. Our prayer life. Uh, let, me, let me speak for, for me. My prayer life is made better. The greater the storm. Yeah. I spend more time on my knees when I'm in the middle of a storm. Yeah. Uh, our prayer life is made greater because of a storm or two. Uh, there's a blessing in the middle of the storm. I learned how to wait on God. Yeah. In the middle of the storm, I learned how to trust God. Yeah. In the middle of the storm, I learned how to depend on God and nobody else. Yeah. In the middle of the storm, I learned how to call on the name of Jesus, the sweetest name I know. In the middle of the storm. Watch this. The disciples are now in the third watch of the night. The Bible says that the boat is being tossed by the waves and the winds uh, are against the boat. We read that in the word. The storm has become increasingly great against the disciples. See, I don't know about you, but sometimes the storms of life for me become increasingly great. Yeah. But there's some great storms that I go through. There's some great storms that you go through. Uh, what was a, let, 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 let me do it like this. What was a cough hmm. is now an infection. Right. It's a great storm. What, what was an infection is now uh, pneumonia. What, what was pneumonia is now an incurable disease. Y'all see how life can get uh, increasingly worse. What was a routine doctor visit now becomes a medical emergency. What, what was uh, my career is now being terminated. What once was uh, my home now belongs to the bank. Life can come become increasingly uh, great with its trials and tribulations. What once was my spouse now belongs to somebody else. What used to be my car has been repossessed in the middle of the night. Uh, or what used to be my ride or die is now dead. Yeah. I lost my friend. I lost my loved one. I lost what seems like uh, the important people in my life. Well, that's just the third watch yeah. of the night. You got to put on your big girl pants. You got to put on your big boy pants and hit. Cause, Cause the waters can get a little deep, but let me help us and then, then I'm gonna take my seat. I, I won't leave you in the third watch, I promise. I, I won't leave you in the first or second watch. Uh, uh, when it seems like, watch this, that all hope is lost, keep trusting yeah. and believe. That's the word for today. I'm done. When, when it seems like you can't make it to the other side, keep believing. When it feels like life is over, uh, uh, Jesse Jackson and a whole bunch of people used to say, uh, keep what? Hope alive. Keep hope alive. Y'all know Jesse. He used to speak for everybody. He don't speak for me. When it feels like uh, you can't go on, keep pressing because help is on the way. Y'all going to help me preach now. I'm running out of gas. Help! It's on the way. I know it doesn't feel like it. I know it doesn't look like it, but Jesus never fails. Yeah. Uh, people will fail you, and, and friends will fail you, and even some of them church folks that I talked about, uh, they will fail you, but Jesus never fails. Yeah. Uh, because I read in, in the Bible, Matthew 14, 25, the Bible says, now in the fourth watch, yeah. that, that, that's your last shot right there, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus showed up. Yeah. I don't know about you, but things just seem to get just a little bit better when Jesus shows up in my life. I, I don't care what kind of hell I'm going through. When, when Jesus shows up, I oftentimes just...
could feel a little bit better. When, when Jesus shows up, I dance a little bit harder. When, when Jesus shows up, the song in my spirit changes. When, when Jesus shows up on the scene, things have, have got to change. I just had to trust him more for a little while. I just had to believe him more for a little while. I, I just had to get through a few raindrops. I just had to get through a few heartaches of pain. I, I just had to get through a few disappointments. All but in the fourth watch of life. In the fourth watch of my life, Jesus will always come through. Now watch this. The disciples were just about out of gas. They, they were just about like us. They couldn't roll no more. They were just about like us. They were at the end of their rope. They, they were just about like us. They didn't know where uh, their next meal was coming from. They were just about like us. They didn't know what the judge was going to say. They were just about like us. They didn't know what the doctor was going to say. They were just about like us. They were the fourth watch of the night. Oh, This one ought to get everybody. He promised that no weapon formed against me 
Jesus don't do it, it can't be, I understand. If Jesus don't do it, it can't be done. But hold on. 